Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. And what is this video about? Well, it's about Rainbow. What's Rainbow? You may have heard about Rainbow. It's a new patching environment brought to you by Cycling74, the people who make Max, Max MSP, Jitter, Gen, all that stuff. And now they have this new thing called Rainbow. So what's so special about it? It's causing a lot of buzz. Everyone's getting excited and everyone's remembering the theme tune to Rainbow. Well, Rainbow is basically a patching environment very similar to Max and sort of similar to Gen, but it allows you to do some stuff which is just going to completely change everything, such as export to VST, which is exactly what I'm going to do in this video right now. I'm going to make a VST plugin. It's going to take no time at all. So let's start by creating Rainbow. I'm going to create a new object. I'm going to type RNBO. And right away, it's going to open a new patch editor where if I do things like create a bang, oh, it's blue. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, so this is um, this is rainbow. It's, it's a little confusing, isn't it? Because it kind of just looks like Max, but and, and it is. But there's all kinds of these other things. And it's sort of like Gen. It's sort of like Max. It's a bit confusing. Anyway, if you're familiar with Max and you're familiar with Gen, Rainbow is going to be quite easy to pick up. There are some operators in there which are not things that I've heard before and I had to do a little bit of uh, research in order to make this very, very simple delay VST plugin which I'm going to make, but I'll talk you through that. So I'm going to make a rainbow patch and then I'm going to export it to a VST and load it in Ableton as a VST. It's going to be great. So first of all, I'm going to make an inlet. Let's, let's zoom in a bit to our rainbow patch. Let's say in one. And you can see already that the rainbow patch has um, updated with an, with an inlet there. Uh, let's make this a stereo. So we'll, we'll make in two now. Now we've got two inlets. You can see that the rainbow patch will update. Uh, let's, let's zoom in a little bit more here so we can see the rainbow uh, patch update whilst I create the new operators. So yeah, we're going to make a simple delay. Um, stereo delay. Let's make an out one and an out to come out a little bit so already you can see that the patching environment is very familiar albeit that it's blue and the font is slightly different um but otherwise it's pretty much identical to this you know objects connecting them together and stuff with wires and stuff like that so what can we do to make a delay well we can use the delay operator delay tilde um, which works very much like the delay in normal MSP. We don't have a tap in or tap out, which is rather strange. So yeah, there's a couple of things that maybe aren't that aren't there that you might expect from working in normal MSP. So there is a little bit of like learning some new things along the way. So we've got our delay object here and let's have a look at what arguments we need to give it. We need to give it a max size. I'm going to give it a max size of 48,000 samples. We're working at sample rates. Uh, on this occasion, and so 48,000, uh, for, so 44,800, I'm sorry, 44,800 um, is should be the sample rate of the sound card that I'm using right now. So I'm going to say that the max size is going to be 44,800. Um, I don't think I really will do anything else. That's fine. Um, I'll create two of those, um, and that's going to be my delay. Now, you might think that normally, to, in order to make feedback, we would create our little feedback module here, and then we would feed this back in. That's actually not what we're going to do at all. And this is where I actually had to do a little bit of research. And we need to use a feedback operator. Um, let's have a look at the feedback operator. Provide one sample buffer delay for a line of feedback. So this is kind of how we're going to use this delay operator to, to create an echo with this feedback um, operator, feedback object. So we're going to go from our signal into our feedback into our delay and then back out into our feedback so we're going to need two of these um let me see if i can remember how to do this so we come in from our left oh that doesn't work does it need to be an in tilde ah maybe i needed to do in tilde my apologies <laughs> um let's see if that's yeah okay now we're so this we need to do out tilde here as well i'm sort of like very very casually exploring this um because i kind of wanted to give this it, it almost kind of like a sort of unboxing experience i've only done this once i've only practiced this once um because i just wanted you to see kind of how straightforward the the process can be so we've got uh our left 
uh, input coming into our feedback. Then we're going to go into our delay from our feedbacks, and then we can start to create our feedback. Uh, let's think about the best way to do this. So we'll make a param. Uh, no, sorry, we'll make a multiply here. Um, we'll patch the delay of that to the multiply, and then we're going to go back into our feedback like that. Uh, we'll give it a value of zero, and let's give this one a value of zero. And that's pretty much all we need to do. Um, and then I think we will create, let's give myself a bit of space here. Let's actually make, um, let's make a multiply here for the dry signal from both sides. So we can have a dry signal and then we'll have the same again for the wet signal okay and then i guess we will we won't add them together we'll just come out like that um yeah okay that's the dry we could maybe do like we could maybe put some comments in here dry yeah that's fine and then down here we can put wet just to keep our keep ourselves in check all right, so that's pretty much my delay, um, my one second sample based delay, but I need to control all of these things. So this is when I'm going to create some params here. Um, let's bring all, whoops, that's uh, got an email. Um, let's make a param. So this means that we'll be able to access from the outside world, from outside our rainbow patch, stuff that's going on inside the rainbow patch, like the delay time, how much feedback we want, how much dry we want, how much wet we want. So this is a bit like Jen. If you've done gen, this is very similar. So I'm going to create a param here and I'm going to say, I'm just going to call this delay time. I'm going to set a at min of zero and at max, max value or maximum. That's, yeah, max is fine. Uh, of 44,800. Um, and that I think can just go straight into our delay operators there for the delay time. Let's just hover over that inlet and see. Yeah, that is the delay. Okay, so we've got a param for our delay time. Let's make a param for our feedback. Feedback at min zero at max 0 0.99. Um, and then that can go into our multipliers here for our feedback. And then we'll create... Um, create a param here I'm just going to duplicate that let's call this wet and we'll connect the param to the multipliers of our wet signal and we'll create it's getting a bit messy let's create another one here and call this one dry and connect that to the multipliers of our dry signal and if you see that every time I make a, a new connection here the rainbow uh, object here gets instantiated re-instantiated so that's pretty much it it looks a bit Terrible. <laughs> Maybe we can neaten it up a little bit. Um, something like this, perhaps. Um, yeah, we could put the, the wet stuff down here, maybe, and then we could put the dry. No, there's nothing I can do to make this look nicer. Um, that's just going to have to do like that. Okay, so um, that's it. That's our rainbow patch done. And we can actually preview the patch whilst we're patching it, which is kind of interesting. So let's... Um, connect the left in uh, left input and uh, uh, right input for our our playlist thing here connect that to the output and uh, how do we get our parameters well much like Jen you create uh, yeah, you right click the inlet of the rainbow object and find all your parameters so there they are they're the, the ones I made earlier delay time that was a parameter I made dry control um, wet control and feedback there we go. Those are all our parameters. So let's have a listen and see if this works. No. Okay, let's that's because the drive volume's down. Let's turn the drive. Okay. Let's set a delay time of 1000. And turn the feedback up. Yes. OK, 
Okay, so that works. Um, I think maybe what I might do is just put a little bit of um, some limiting in here on the output um, just to kind of make sure, you know, because doing this type of sample rate delay um, stuff can sometimes get a little bit dangerous. So let's just do some limiting on the way out. See how quickly it is just to open up the rainbow patch and uh, make an edit and then come back out. Very much like Jen. Sort of a sort of a hybrid, kind of a hybrid of Max MSP and Gen Rainbow, in my opinion. Right. All right. Okay, so now that's it. We've made our rainbow patch. How do we do the VST bit? Well, this is when it gets juicy. So we're going to go open open our um, rainbow patch here. And then over here, we have our show export sidebar. And this is uh, all the target export options that we have. C++ source code, web export, uh, no devices connected. Not sure what that means. Max external. Very interested about that. Imagine just being able to make your own max external rather than create a max patch or an abstraction. You can just create a max object. That's cool. But I'm going to do audio plugin export. So let's click this. Um, and then I think I have to hit this little button here. Okay. So this is where we're going to give our VST plugin some information. So let's choose, uh, which one we want. VST3 for Mac. I'm on Mac. That's fine. Plugin name. I'm just going to call this Simple Delay 1. And my company name. Well, I'm Ned Rush, aren't I? Everyone knows that. Um, it's an effect. The, okay, the document, the output directory. This says documents rainbow plugins. That's interesting. On this occasion, I'm just going to export it to the desktop um, and just see. Uh, and then I can maybe move it later on to a... Um, a folder, a custom folder of my choosing. So that's exporting now. Uh, I might have to do a little cut here. Okay, it's done it. There it is. There is my simple delay with some stuff, with a little thing here, some a text. Um, okay, right, this is brilliant. So let's just go into Max. Let's save this. I'll go save as, and I'll just say RNBO simple delay one. Uh, I'll save that just in case. Save that to the desktop and uh, let's close this. Okay, here we are in Ableton. So now we need to get the plugin in. Let's go to the desktop and see. Okay, there is the simple delay folder contents, Mac OS X, nothing. Okay, so actually what we might need to do is just, so I'm going to set a temporary um, custom folder for my plugins. I'm going to go to the plugins tab. I'm going to use um, custom folder. Okay, I'm just going to change that to the desktop for now. Let's just change that to desktop, just temporarily see if this works. Okay, let's go back to the plugins tab and look for VST3. Oh my God, it's made of, oh, it's done it. It's given me my own little name. There we go. There's our plugin. Isn't this exciting? And there it is in its all at plugin glory. Let's get that sample of the rainbow theme tune back in and play around with this with our new plugin. Let's automate that a little bit. Let's just see what... Too excited about that. Okay. okay, 
there we go. We made a VST plugin in Rainbow in Max, and uh, it's exciting. Quite a lot of stuff I need to learn, though. Uh, the exporting to the right folder and looking at ways to get plugins to sync to the transport and stuff like this. But I'm definitely going to be exploring Rainbow a lot further, and maybe I will look into porting all of my Max for Live devices to VSTs and then then I'll be like a proper developer. Anyway, there you go. That was a quick look at Rainbow. I'm going to go and put this plugin um, on my Patreon now where you should be able to download that. And plus then I'll upload the Rainbow patch as well if you have Rainbow or if, you, if, if you're running the trial version, then you could probably still open up the Rainbow patch and have a little look around and get familiar. Rainbow, good times. Okay, everyone. See you next time. Bye.